overflows surrender the end of expectations separating unity from multiplicity in mind the light grows dim and we wander in lower realms who is more deserving of pity than he who walks into fire with his eyes wide open obsessed with the joy of sexual embrace the fool believes he knows ultimate truth he is like someone who stands at his door and flirting talks about sex the wind stirs in the house of emptiness exciting delusions of emotional pleasure fallen from celestial space is stung the tormented yogin faints away like a brahman taking rice and butter offering sacrifice to the flame he who visualizes material things as celestial ambrosia deludes himself that a dream is ultimate reality and lightening the house of brahma in the fontanel is stroking the ovala in wanton delight is stroking the ovala in wanton delight confused believing binding pleasures to be spiritual release the vain fool calls himself a yogi teaching that virtue is irrelevant to intrinsic awareness he mistakes the law for the key ignorant of true nature of the gem the fool calls green glass emerald his mind takes brass for gold momentary peak experience momentary peak experience for reality accomplished clinging to the joy of ephemeral dreams he calls his short thrift life eternal bliss with a discursive understanding of the symbol of with a discursive understanding of the symbol evam creating four seals through an analysis of the moment he revels his peak experience sahaj he is clinging to a reflection mistaken for the mirror like befool to her leaping into a mirage of water deluded fools in their ignorance cling to outer forms and with their thirst unleashed bound and confined they idealize their prison pretending happiness the the relativity real is free of intellectual const- constructs and ultimately real mind active and quintessent is no mind and this is supreme the highest of the high immaculate friends know this sacred height friends know this sacred height in mind absorbed in samadhi in mind absorbed in samadhi that is concept free passion is immaculately pure like a lotus rooted in the slime of a lake bottom this 
ultimate reality is untouched by the pollution of the existence make solid your vision make solid your vision of all things as visionary dream and you attain transcendence instantaneous realization and equanimity a strong mind binding the demons of darkness a strong mind wind binding the demons of darkness beyond thought your own spontaneous nature is accomplished beyond thought your own spontaneous nature is accomplished a passage from sarahas song of the people a teacher a master has unnecessarily to create many things around him to do many things just to create trust in you but even then problems arise because everyone comes with his own expectations about the master the master must be like this or like that surrender means to leave your expectations surrender is the end of all expectations and you allow the master to be as he is and you allow him to do whatsoever he wants to do even if it even if pain results you are ready for it even if he leads you towards death you are ready for it because ultimately he will lead you to a deep death only after this rebirth is possible even if he leads you towards death you are ready for it because ultimately he will lead you to deep death the ultimate death only after it is rebirth possible resurrection is possible only when you are old only when your old identities have been crucified for you to be transformed your old identities have to be crucified crucifixion is the beginning of resurrection without your old identities crucified illumination is not possible resurrection does not happen tantra is not a philosophy instead it is a science with one difference tantra is not a philosophy instead it is a science with one difference science is objective but tantra is subjective tantra is subjective science in science you study the objects science is the study through objects tantra is the scientific study through the subject but is still it is a science and not a philosophy philosophy thinks about the truth the unknown the ultimate science tries to discover what is science tries to discover what is science enters the immediate philosophy thinks of the ultimate philosophy is always looking towards the sky science is more down to earth philosophy 
is always looking into the sky, looking towards the sky. Science is more down to earth. Tantra is not concerned with the ultimate. It is concerned with the immediate, the here and now. Tantra is not concerned with the ultimate. It is concerned with the immediate, the here and now. According to Tantra, the ultimate is hidden in the immediate. So you need not worry about the ultimate. By worrying about the ultimate, you will miss the immediate. And the ultimate is hidden in the immediate. And the ultimate is hidden in the immediate. So by thinking about the ultimate, you will miss both the immediate and the ultimate. If the immediate should be missed because of it, you will miss the ultimate as well. So philosophy is just a smooth. The approach of Tantra is scientific, but the object is different from that of so-called science. Science tries to understand the object and the objective world, the reality that is before your eyes. Science tries to understand the object and the objective world, the reality that is before your eyes. Tantra is the science of reality that is behind your eyes. Tantra is the science of reality that is behind your eyes, the subjectivity, but the approach is scientific, pure scientific. Tantra does not believe in thinking. Instead, it believes in experimenting and in experiencing. Exper experiencing and experimenting are not separate two dimensions of one reality. You experience through the process of experimenting without Entering the realm of experimenting, experience does not happen. And unless you can experience, everything is just a wastage of energy. And unless you can experience, everything is just wasted of energy. Just wasted of energy. Enough for now.